Hi everyone, Nubkex here. I wanted to do a quick video uh, giving my thoughts, uh, my first impressions on the news that Bobby Kotick, or Kotick, I'm not sure how you say it, the CEO of Activision Blizzard has uh, had his pay cut by 50%. According to Wowhead's summary of the news, his base salary is being reduced from a mere 1,750,000 to 875,000 per year, and his uh, maximum annual bonus will also be halved. Uh, the max bonus before was three and a half million. It's now uh, half that, which is 1,750,000. So in other words, before his pay was cut by 50%, he made absolutely crazy money after his pay has been cut by 50%, he still makes absolutely crazy money. Uh, I can actually give a little bit of a different spin on this, a di bit of a different take. Uh, as we all know, everybody loves to hate on Bobby Kotick and uh, all the money that he makes. I personally love watching Jim uh, Jimquisition, for example. Really funny channel. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to watching his video uh, ranting about this one as well. It's going to be great. Well, one big reason is, is poaching, and this is actually a, a genuine risk that they're taking with this move. If you look at their actual press release here, they do say that uh, he voluntarily agreed to reduce his base salary by 15% in 2020, so last year. Uh, but now um, they're reducing it by 50%, which aligns with targets established at the bottom 25th percentile of the company's peer group, despite the company's strong relative performance. So this is, I think this would be the, the biggest general worry actually, which is, okay, he's being paid less than most of his peers, right? Most people working as CEOs and similarly sized companies are going to be making more money than him. 75% <laughs> of them are. He's going to be bottom 25th percentile. Uh, and then as they said, you know, Activision is actually doing very well. Blizzard, obviously not doing so hot recently, but Activision as a whole doing very well. So this starts to run a real risk of, of poaching, right? Um, that if he isn't being paid much compared to these other guys, or not as much, uh, and if he is very good at his job, which if their company is doing well, he may very well be exceptionally good at his job, it's very easy then for one of these other companies to come in and offer him more pay. Say, hey, you're being treated by sh like shit by Activision Blizzard. Uh, we know you've been there for years, but they just cut your pay by 50%. Come work for us and we'll pay you more. Uh, and then, hey, he leaves, he goes to another company, uh, and that is a bad thing for Activision, right? Losing your CEO when you don't want to, if them quitting is a bad thing that will disrupt your company, have an impact on profits, all that sort of stuff. So that's a real risk, and that is a reason why CEOs are, are paid so much, is that they're all paid so much. And if you start underpaying your CEO, uh, they can be poached by other places. I think another aspect as well, um, which doesn't, exactly tie into to the amount being reduced because it's still so much in an objective sense but uh it is very important for your ceo and part of the reason that they are paid a lot is that you don't want them to have to really worry at all about money right for you know for everyone else really for most people you know you do have to worry about money you've got to worry about you know working earning enough money to to pay for your house to, to be able to cover any medical expenses that come up to look after your kids whatever you know it's a, a big part about how you align your life is with that uh with a ceo for a big company you don't want them to think about that at all you know you don't want them to have to put any energy, any thought into that. Just completely remove that from the equation. Remove worrying about themselves, worry about money, worry about the family, remove all of that stuff. So you basically, what you want to do, the ideal is that you have this competitive, driven person and you've removed all the stuff that they have to do, all the stuff, all that competitive energy, you know, that drive, the only place that they have really left to put it is into their company, right? So you make them care about their company so much that, that that's where they find value. You know, they're not going out and going like, man, I want to earn, you know, I, I want to do well and have a good job so I can take my family to Hawaii for a holiday this summer. They're not doing that. They go, oh, I can do that anyway. I want to do well because I'm a competitive person. I'm driven. I want to succeed. And the only place that I can actually find to succeed and to do well is to be a good CEO, right? That's how you want to set it up. Um, 
so that's part of why part of, of why they're paid so much as well but yeah it's also a general cultural thing so it'll be interesting to see uh, whether this stuff spills over or just general uh societal moves um whether ceos in general start to get paid less and we're talking about a big topic here we're not talking about just one gaming company we're talking about all companies um and obviously just uh, collectively lowering the stuff Ooh, socialism Ooh, capitalism Ooh, all that stuff yeah fun um but all that comes into it as well you know rich get richer poor get poorer all that sort of fun capitalism trending stuff um yeah i mean it's a bigger problem this is just i think it's it's one example of it uh i don't know we will see again like i said i think that there there is a risk that he quits or he leaves um, which could be very, very bad for Activision. So I think it's interesting that they would go this far. Uh, I, I think it's obviously, it's a PR move. You know, it, it's just that they want to, to impress people. I wonder if it will impress people. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Um, I feel like people will still feel he's paid too much and hate him. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know how you can ever get people on board with laying, like announcing worker layoffs and then announcing bonus for the CEO at like the same time. I, that's just not going to sit well with most people uh, ever. It doesn't matter if the bonus is three million or one and a half million. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So we'll see. Obviously that they think that this will have an effect and they think that it's not going to affect uh, his work as CEO We'll see. <laughs> That's interesting. There you go, guys. Anyway, a little bit of a different take here. Um, uh, I, I'm sure there's plenty of people that are just be like, oh, he's a bastard. He's paid too much. Bah, fuck him. Uh, which is also probably true. But, you know, yeah. Guys, thanks for watching. <laughs> I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.